Writing half reactions, or ion equations and net ionic equations. So in this problem it says copper metal is added to concentrated nitric acid. What is the balanced half reaction? So what we see here is it's going to be CuS solid, the metal that's going to be put into nitric acid, NO3 aqueous, that's going to form copper NO3 two aqueous plus NO2 gas. What I can see from this is that NO3 is actually going to be gaining electrons to form NO2. So the half reaction for this the half reaction for this for this form um, for this reaction is going to be NO3 NO3 negative aqueous plus an electron is going to produce NO2 gas. Now to balance this half reaction what I have to do is actually first add H I'm going to add water. I'm going to add water to one side and hydrogen ions to another. So to balance it out because we want the charges to balance out as well so this is why we have to add this is why we have to add. Um, this is why we have to add the H positive. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put NO3 negative aqueous plus E, the electrons that it's being added, plus H positive to this side, so the charges can start balancing out, and then NO2 gas plus water liquid. So now we can actually balance this half reaction. After we've done this at addition of hydrogen ion and water, we can balance this ion. We can balance this. So what we see that we need to do is first make sure that we have the correct number of things. So to balance it out, I'm going to make this have 2NO3. That's going to be six. That's going to be six oxygens because if I make two hydrogens, I'm going to need two hydrogens on this side so I can match up the two H2Os. But that's not going to be enough because then we're going to be left with an uneven number of O2. So I can put two NO3 negative. Then I'm going to add. The, then there needs to be two nitrogens, two NO2s on this side. And now that we have six, now that we have four here, we need actually six oxygens because this is telling me there are six oxygens. So I'm going to put a two in front of this H2O. And because there's because there's going to be now four hydrogens, because this is telling me there's four hydrogens, we have four positive charges and we have two negative charges, and we need to make sure that there are actually four and four negative charges. So here I'm going to add two. So now we have a total of two negative charges, two negative charges, and then that's going to be four, which will cancel out the four positive charge of H plus. And now we have four hydrogen on this side, four hydrogens on this side, six oxygens, six oxygens, two nitrogens and two nitrogens. So this is the balance half reaction. And A is the only one that matches that. So A is the answer to our problem.